Garmin's G1000 is standard equipment in most new aircraft, but what you may not have noticed is that the company is finding a lively G1000 retrofit market for the G1000 in King Air 90, 200, 300, and 350 series. Here's a closer look. On the King Air program, we've got the most complete retrofit you can do for any aircraft. Uh, we're doing the G1000 retrofit with it, and that's for the C90, the 200 series, and now the 300 and 350. They were added just a little over a year, year and a half ago. This has actually probably turned out to be the most successful glass retrofit program there is with any airplane. We've got well over 200 airplanes now flying out there with G1000 in it. And why it's appealing is, besides taking out some of the older CRTs, which are getting some obsolescence, or even the round dial airplanes and even older autopilots, with the system is you're starting from scratch. You're basically zero time in your avionics. So when you look at this panel on the King Air, it looks like it came out of the factory with it. So we're replacing the glass and you can get the synthetic vision option, which everybody takes a synthetic vision option on this, uh, on this display. It gives you your charts, it gives you your data link weather, it gives you your active radar with it. And uh, the thing that you don't see here is probably the most impressive. It's the way we do the autopilot system. So it's got the Garmin GSC 700 autopilot, which is just fantastic. If you saw the different things you can do with it, I mean, I can sit there and be at 10,000 feet, load up approach an ILS with a procedure turn. I load it up, arm the VNAV with it. It's going to VNAV down, go do the procedure turn, turn inbound, automatically switch the localizer. The whole time from 10,000 feet, I'm just sitting back here, you know, maybe yeah, I might bring back a little power gear and flaps with it. And by the way, we have several Garmin dealers that can do the installation. Now, it is a major install. I mean, we're removing about 250 to 300 pounds out of the airplane. Downtime varies between shops. It can be as fast as three week downtime. Probably average is around four to five week downtime. And the King Air is actually not the only aircraft that you can get an integrated cockpit retrofit on. We've had some third parties do uh, STCs. Sierra's done it on the Citation 501. Cutter Aviation's done it on the Metro 950. And we have a couple other programs that are in works right now for the Beach 1900, uh, the Metro Liner, and even the Twin Otter. And uh, those are being worked along with the uh, Aero Commander with uh, Eagle Creek. And if you want to find out more on the program, you can go to Garmin.com and look under Integrated Cockpits in the King Air.